City of Dearborn has settled a lawsuit in the death of a 10 year old boy killed while playing on a play structure at Camp Dearborn. Carson Dunn was killed back in July of last year after he fell and hit a stepladder on his way down. Sean Lay is live for us tonight. Sean, this, this has to help get some closure for the family. You know, we asked Ben Johnson, attorney, about that. No family, no parent ever wants to think about losing a child, so closure may likely never happen. But Ben Johnson says in this case, the city of Dearborn settled, did not make this a long, painful court battle. At the same time, Carson's mom likely made this safer, a safer situation for other kids. Does this give any closure to his family? In this particular case, Sean, yeah, when I, when I hear people say, when a kid dies, well, we have to give them closure. What parent could ever survive? I can't even fathom trying to move on or trying to do anything in life. But uh, as it pertains to Carly Burgess, who is just a remarkable young lady, uh, I think that it is going to give her some solace in the sense that, to be fair, the city of Dearborn stepped up. Attorney Ben Johnson says the horrific death of a 10 year old boy named Carson Dunn should never had happened. Carson was at Camp Dearborn in Milford Township in July of 2022. He fell from a floating play structure, hitting his chest so hard his family says he bled to death and they also say life saving efforts were not in a timely manner. What was wrong with the structure rented to the city of Dearborn? Handrails for a ladder to get out of the water stuck out several feet from the upper platform. So my kid who thinks he's jumping and what it, where do smaller kids jump to? They jump near the ladder. Is that thing gone or are they going to make safety adjustments? Oh, well, I can tell you this. My understanding is gone. Our law still, suit still continues as it relates to the gentleman that was renting it to the city of Dearborn, as well as the, the gentleman or company that made it. Yeah. And we're going to find out where exactly that is so I can answer that. I don't have all those answers right now. The litigation against others continues here. We touched base with the director of communications of the city of Dearborn, Katie Doyle, sending us this statement. The city of Dearborn finalized a settlement agreement in this case in late September. We offer our sincere condolences to Ms. Burgess and her loved ones. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. Okay, Sean, thank you.